It's tough to relocate a majestic bird if that bird can't fly. Debbie Pappas of Price, Utah, has a passion for our feathered friends. That's for sure. When she gets a knock at the door in the middle of the night, it's usually a sign that somebody or something is in trouble. But Debbie's always there, 24 7, ready to pay it forward and lend a helping hand. Tonight, we meet the bird lady of Price, Utah. Debbie Pappas has a big family. Come on in, guys. Here in her backyard is where her real passion <laughs> takes flight, or at least tries to fly. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Never know when it's going to happen. It's, it's an ER for wildlife is what it is. Debbie is one of eight wildlife rehabilitators here in the state. She's based out of Price, Utah. She's seen it all. Uh, we have gunshots, poisonings, hip, hit by vehicles is our most common. Is it? This little gal was hit by a motorhome. She demands respect uh, and she gets it. She's a very powerful female. Like any caring mom, Debbie needs to keep her family fed. What do you feed them? Well, quail, rabbits. Uh, pretty much whatever they want. Uh, occasionally, a DWR officer will bring us a roadkill deer, which is one of their favorite foods. Owls, hawks, eagles, Debbie takes care of them all. Who is this guy? Oh, wow. Beautiful bird. Isn't Holy she gorgeous? Cow, look at that. So we get about 350 patients a year. This guy that's in here is a red tailed hawk, and he's actually leaving Saturday for Colorado. Sadly, not everybody here at Debbie's place makes it back to the wild. All four of these eagles are non releasable. Oh, really? So they'll never be back out in the wild, huh? No. But some of these beautiful birds actually supply feathers to Native American tribes, but the birds are never harmed. A lot of people don't realize how hard it is for Native Americans to get feathers. The Comanche Nation is taking these guys. They're in Oklahoma. Caring for this extended family isn't cheap, and most of the money comes out of her own pocket and from small donations from other animal lovers. We want to help. Debbie, time to meet Sterling Nielsen, Mountain America Credit Union. Oh, you. you guys fit. Just a little fit. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Well, thank you for what you're doing. You're helping out so many animals, but we want to help out. We have $500, <laughs> and we hope it'll help save a few more animals. Thank you so much. Glad to help out. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Not, not cheap to feed all those birds, that's for sure, and she does it as a labor of love. Debbie's dedicated her life to helping wildlife in central Utah. If you'd like to help Debbie, we have a link to her blog spot on our website. I know there's so many animal lovers out there who might want to get involved. Uh, go to KUTV.com and then click on Pay It Forward.